Hey internet, I uh, just wanted to do a little quick demo on my truck. Um, there was a back seat back here that really was too small for anything but a child to be in it. Um, so I took it out and thought about what I wanted to do and decided to add a um, piece of wood to the back. I painted it, used the old hardware, as you can see, bolt right there and there's bolts over there. Bolted it into what was already there so it's pretty sturdy um, and added all these uh, mole strips molly strips I'm sorry <laughs> molly strips to the back um, that patch in the, I mean the uh, panel in the middle was um, from Blue Ridge Overland group um, it was a backseat panel that I had and it worked fine I just uh, decided to put it back here um, and then I had the magazine pouches. I mean, they don't have magazine in it, but they can store whatever you want. And that mounted a nice little LED flashlight, mag light. Um, and then down there is a rifle carrying, um, it was for a backpack, but I cut it and mounted it to the wood. So if I go hunting or anything like that, I can have a spot back there. I can, uh, you know, Velcro it in and it's good to go. Um, and I just added all that. And then I decided... Um, for like muddy boots and stuff not to tear up my carpet. I carpeted two pieces of plywood cut them in half and then put them on hinges and um, I can still use the storage compartment underneath um, Keep all the straps or whatever in these little side storage compartments down here and uh, Still have access to all that but not tear up the carpet in the truck and uh both sides come up they both have storage compartments underneath um, uh, and that's what I have done so far to the back and then you move up front and I got the CB radio um, added that it's a Connex 4300 HP that somebody did some work to um, I don't know much about the internals of CB so I don't know what he's done uh, he explained to me but don't know what it means <laughs> um, but uh, I get like 40 miles out of it. Um, I haven't really tested it further than that and the guy came in pretty clear. So I'm sure it could go out a little further, but I just don't know. And uh, then I got a Daystar rocker switch and that's for the headlights on the front, the LED headlights on the front. Um, and then I mounted it to my rear view mirror. I braided some paracord, hung it to the mirror and then used a wife's bobby pin because I didn't want to buy one online um, CB hook and just made a hook out of it cheap and easy didn't cost me nothing for that um, I've got the GoPro mount you know taped to the window and then uh, the orange cord you see is the power for it it runs down here um, I want to hardwire it in I just haven't had time to research and figure out which wires do what yet but I'll get to that um, I did hardwire a radar detector in because them cops out there so it's good to have it's it does everything laser everything so I mean it's got me out of a lot of tickets when it's turned on but that's why I hardwired because I would always forget to turn on and get a ticket um, and then I got this visor patch panel um, from a group that shall not be named because I don't buy from them anymore because the owner is a child and goes on YouTube and acts like a child so he don't need my money, which sucks because uh, he makes decent stuff. So I don't buy from him, but wish I could. Just don't want to support him. And uh, but it's pretty good. It makes the visor sag a little, a little bit, but it's because it's too long for my my visor. My visor is a little short Toyota one. So um, I'll take you to the back and show you what I've done in the back here in just a sec. All right, now the back is just as. I think tricked out as the front. Uh, I got three gas cans, a water can, and in the corner I got a big old heavy duty chain um, for whatever. Never know when you might need some chain. And then up top, I mounted a shovel axe and a machete. Um, I don't know if you can see the machete, it's back there. But uh, I just took a piece of plywood and the cap when I got this truck was already damaged, so I really didn't feel bad drilling into it, but I just put uh, six bolts holding it in right to the cap now a little uh, little word of tip here 
If you're drilling into fiberglass, put the drill on reverse and drill it. I know it sounds strange, but it works very well. Um, it drills right through and you have minimal cracking of your cap. Actually, I don't think I had any. And uh, it drilled right through and no problem. Um, so I took a, I believe it was like a quarter inch piece of plywood, and mounted it to it, painted it, mounted it to it. And then I ran silicone uh, on the bolt as I put them through and just basically silicone the crap out of them. And uh, I haven't had a leak one and I checked. Um, and then I had a net here and it worked but it would sag so then I did some stuff with paracord to hold it up and one day I just was like screw it I made this thing a drop down drawer um, carries everything I've ever needed uh, it's fishing bag duct tape you know excess paracord up uh, siphon book about when you get your ass gets stuck in the wood and uh, these are jumper cables and uh, it's just you know piano hinge in the back I believe I put and then two cables on either side to hold it from going all the way down and a cable in the middle to keep it up and I've had this on for I'd say about a year um, it's easy as you see do it with one hand it's not that difficult Two, it's even simpler um, and it worked pretty well I've had no trouble with it and uh, it's I would say it's probably got about the box and everything probably about 25 pounds of weight and it hasn't pulled out I used a a long bolt uh, hasn't pulled out or nothing so I'm pretty pleased with it um, so if you guys got any questions or comments leave them in the bottom and uh, thanks for watching